The term evangelical Catholic is used by Christians who consider themselves both Catholic and evangelical, meaning gospel centered. Evangelical Catholic, Catholic is the noun with evangelical modifying, can refer variously to Evangelical Protestants who consider themselves to be Catholic in the sense that they identify with the historic Christian Church. They believe that the early General Councils and the Protestant Reformation were both part of the progressive illumination of the Holy Spirit. Catholics who, in continuity with the long tradition of the Church and empowered by Pope Benedict XVI's a proclaimed new evangelization, stress the centrality and salvific universality of the Gospel of Jesus Christ and the necessity of proclaiming it, in many ways identifying with the evangelical movement. Topic: Catholic Church. Topic. As used by the Roman Catholic Church, the term Evangelical Catholic refers to Roman Catholics in full communion with the Holy See in Rome who exhibit, according to Alistair McGrath, the four characteristics of Evangelicalism. The first is a strong theological and devotional emphasis on the Christian scriptures. Secondly, Evangelical Catholics stress the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ as the cause of salvation for all mankind. A personal need for interior conversion is the third defining mark, and, consequently, the fourth is a deep commitment to evangelization. Evangelical Catholics see these evangelical emphases as the core of the 2,000-year tradition of Catholic Christianity. Evangelical preaching movements such as St. Dominic's, who was called the Vir Evangelicus evangelical man, are a common point of reference. To Catholics, the term evangelical refers to its etymological root the greek word oiangelion which means good news or gospel not to protestant evangelicalism to catholics being evangelical is understood in the context of the adherence to the dogma and sacred tradition of the catholic church and in a catholic interpretation of scripture and not in the doctrinal and ecclesiological upheavals of the protestant reformation Increasingly, the Roman Catholic Church is appropriating the evangelical witness of the recent popes and their encyclicals, especially Pope Paul VI's Evangelii Nuntiandi on evangelization in the modern world, John Paul II's Redemptoris Missio, the Mission of the Redeemer, and the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith's Declaration Dominus Iesus, the Lord Jesus, for which Pope Benedict XVI was primarily responsible when he was previously prefect of the congregation. New Bibles, catechetical materials, youth ministry programs, and young adult ministries witness to greater evangelical zeal within the church. College campus ministry and parish ministry are focusing more of their resources on outreach, pre-evangelization and evangelization. A Catholic organization called the Evangelical Catholic exists for the purpose of equipping Catholic ministries to be evangelical. In Greenville, South Carolina, a Catholic organization called the Center for Evangelical Catholicism exists for the purpose of spreading the New Evangelization program of the Pontifical Council for promoting the new evangelization in Roman Catholic parishes and schools across the United States. Since the call to evangelization is so integral to the Catholic faith and solidly attested to in the ecumenical councils, the writings of the Church Fathers, and papal teaching, the late well-known father Richard John Newhouse 1936 a former longtime evangelical Lutheran pastor looked to the day when the term evangelical Catholic would be redundant, when identifying as Catholic would imply active evangelization so strongly that the addition of evangelical would be unnecessary. As a group, they are often not disaggregated in social science research, though there have been recent calls to change this. Topic. Lutheran evangelical Catholicity Topic. The Augsburg Confession found within the Book of Concord, a compendium of belief of the Lutheran churches, teaches that the faith as confessed by Luther and his followers is nothing new, but the true Catholic faith, and that their churches represent the true Catholic or universal church." When the Lutherans presented the Augsburg Confession to Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor in 1530, they believed it showed that each article of faith and practice was true first of all to Holy Scripture, and then also to the teaching of the Church Fathers and the Councils. The Augsburg Confession further states that one Holy Church is to continue forever. 
The Church is the congregation of saints, in which the Gospel is rightly taught and the sacraments are rightly administered. In Lutheranism, the term Evangelical Catholic has a specific meaning. Lutheran Protestantism differs historically from most other kinds of Protestantism in that Lutheranism is the only historical Protestant denomination that confesses belief in the efficacy of the sacraments, regeneration in holy baptism, confession as the sacrament of absolution, and the real presence of Christ in Holy Eucharist. In Anglicanism there has also been a sacramentalism similar to that in Orthodox Lutheranism, especially in the High Church movement. The Book of Concord states, contrary to enthusiast belief, that salvation can be received only through the means of grace, God's word and sacraments. The Augsburg Confession stresses that, in doctrine and ceremonies nothing has been received on our part against Scripture or the Catholic Church. Article 24 of the Augsburg Confession of the Mass," states, "...falsely are our churches accused of abolishing the Mass, for the Mass is retained among us, and celebrated with the highest reverence." Some Lutheran church bodies claim to also have retained the historical episcopate and apostolic succession. In early Lutheranism, the Nicio Lutherans compiled the first modern critical history of the world, the Magdeburg Centuries, to show that the Lutheran Church was a continuation of the Christian Church throughout its history, though stripped of abuses originating from the Pope. Nicio Lutherans like Joachim Westphal and Andreas Musculus had a high understanding of the sacraments, and therefore were strongly opposed to any compromise with Calvinism and Zwingliism, as well as with Roman Catholic doctrine. In the era of Lutheran orthodoxy, theologians Martin Chemnitz and Johann Gerhard especially in his Confessio Catholica made extensive use of patristic sources. They saw the continuity of the pre-Reformation Church in Lutheranism, which they understood not as a reformation of the Church, but rather a renewal movement within and for the Christian Church, from which the Roman Church did truly represent. The evangelical feature of Lutheranism is justification by faith, as defined by law and gospel and simul justus et peccator. The term evangelical has a different origin and meaning in Lutheranism than in evangelicalism. In German, there is a difference between evangelisch and evangelical, in Swedish, there is a corresponding difference between evangelisk and evangelical. In the Lutheran tradition, evangelical evangelisch refers to the gospel, with the specific meaning of grace-centered. The opposite of evangelical is not Catholic or liberal, but legalistic. In the 19th century, evangelical Catholicism was seen as a vision for the church of the future. The term was used by Lutherans such as Ernst Ludwig von Gerlach and Heinrich Leo within the post-Prussian Union Church in Germany who were inspired by the Church of the Middle Ages, and by Neo-Lutheran Friedrich Julius Stahl. The term Evangelical Catholic is often used today instead of the term High Church Lutheranism, because it is a theological term. It is comparable to the term Anglo-Catholic within Anglicanism. Evangelical Catholic Lutheranism is not strictly defined, and can mean, for example, the theological, biblically, and socially conservative ultra-high church Lutheranism of the strongly Roman Catholic-oriented Anglo-Lutheran Catholic Church and the more Eastern Orthodox-oriented Evangelical Catholic Church, those within the confessional Lutheran movement who follow the late Arthur Karl Piepkorn, the Evangelical Catholic Orthodoxy of Gunnar Rosendahl, the more theological liberal high ecclesiology of Karl Brighton, the very liberal Evangelical Evangelical Catholicity of Nathan Soderblom, or even the more liberal Catholicism of Friedrich Heiler, and the ecumenical vision of Hanses Mussen and Max Lachmann. In 1976, Joseph Ratzinger, later Pope Benedict XVI, suggested that the Augsburg Confession might be possible to recognize as a Catholic statement of faith. This did not happen due to differences in understanding of the theology on justification. The Evangelical Lutheran Church in Canada defines its doctrinal basis as such. We derive our teachings from the Holy Scriptures and confess the three ecumenical creeds of the Christian Church. We hold to Orthodox Catholic theology as enunciated in the ecumenical councils of the first five centuries of Christianity. Some small, evangelical Catholic church bodies include the Evangelical Catholic Church, Anglo Lutheran Catholic Church, Lutheran Church, International, and the Lutheran Episcopal Communion. The Nordic Catholic Church in Norway has roots in High Church Lutheranism. Topic: Among other church bodies. Topic: 
In recent years, the term Evangelical Catholic, has been adopted by high church elements of the Methodist and Reformed churches. This is especially apt among the Reformed, given that one of the older documented uses of the term is by John Williamson Nevin and Philip Schaff, during their efforts from roughly 1841 forward to representate the theology of the German Reformed Church in the United States. In 1849 the Mercersburg Review was founded as the organ of their Mercersburg Theology. Beginning in 1851, William Augustus Mullenberg, the Protestant Episcopal clergyman of Lutheran background, and father of the ritualist movement in the Protestant Episcopal Church in the United States of America, also published a periodical called The Evangelical Catholic. Mullenberg's vision has influenced the Reformed Episcopal Church and some on the Free Church of England. Already earlier, there was an evangelical revival in the Roman Catholic Church in Germany, involving Boos, Gossner and Fenberg. This evangelical revivalist movement also spread to German Lutheranism. The Lusitanian Catholic Apostolic Evangelical Church in Portugal has its origins in the Old Catholic movement of the 19th century. Today it belongs to the Anglican Communion. In England, Ulrich Vernon Herford (1866–1938), irregularly consecrated as Mar Jacobus, Bishop of Mercia and Middlesex, founded the Evangelical Catholic Communion. His succession line was brought to the United States in the 1960s and continues in the Syro-Chaldean Church of North America. Some members of various Christian denominations may use the term Evangelical Catholic to indicate the fact that they are evangelical and maintain their Catholicity. For example, Methodists and Presbyterians believe their denominations owe their origins to the Apostles and the early Church, but do not claim descent from ancient Church structures such as the Episcopate. However, both of these churches hold that they are a part of the Catholic Universal Church. According to Harper's New Monthly magazine, the various Protestant sects can not constitute one church because they have no intercommunion. Each Protestant church, whether Methodist or Baptist or whatever, is in perfect communion with itself everywhere as the Roman Catholic, and in this respect, consequently, the Roman Catholic has no advantage or superiority, except in the point of numbers. As a further necessary consequence, it is plain that the Roman Church is no more Catholic in any sense than a Methodist or a Baptist. As such, according to one viewpoint, for those who belong to the Church, the term Methodist Catholic, or Presbyterian Catholic, or Baptist Catholic, is as proper as the term Roman Catholic. It simply means that body of Christian believers over the world who agree in their religious views, and accept the same ecclesiastical forms. Topic new church bodies topic At the end of the 20th century, the Convergence Movement formed new church bodies, including the Charismatic Episcopal Church and the King's Family of Churches. It governs by an episcopal polity, embraces the charismatic renewal, uses different liturgical versions in worship, both Anglican and Lutheran, and supports church missions and church planting. Topic. See also Topic. Topic. Notes. Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. Further reading. Topic. Topic. External links Topic. 